Dom Lane, get your bling. Welcome to Welcome to the Show. Because we're doing well on this. Uh, we are sitting in Indian on our sofa on the <laughs> on the edge of the sofa on the armrest. And there's a special reason for that. Did I do an intro? Don't make it your boy. Welcome to the welcome to the show. Uh, we just did a, a video on one of my favorite movie ever, which is Fight Club. And I want to do a video on one of my second favorite movie. One of my movies that really marked me. But I don't talk about it as much. And there's a reason for it. See, this is about a little bit about gaming. Um, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately. And what does that have to do with the main car with the main topic of the movie? Nothing. Except for the fact that I didn't want to play Fortnite because most people were playing Fortnite. And I was like, Ugh, it's overrated, right? But then you realize that <laughs> it didn't matter if a lot of people like it or not. I was like, As you like it. And then for the longest of time, one of my favorite movies was American Psycho. You want to know what's crazy? I was in daycare at 17 years old. My, my mother's like, oh, you're my baby boy, you're going to go to daycare. Not daycare, summer camp. Which is also daycare. It's a different name. And I had the, one of those uh, responsible, uh, one of those people that was taking care of the kids. One of the counselor. Ah, there you go. One of the counselor. You know how I know that word? Because I've been looking for it for a long time. Friday the 13th. Would have thought. When the counselor was kind of like a bigger brother to me. Would treat me very differently because I was older. A lot of those kids were 12, 13 years old. I was way older. It would treat me very differently. We were nice. We were, jo we were joking. It's like about fucking girls. It was a weird thing, but as an older brother, I get it. And he mentioned that movie, American Psycho. And I fell in love with that movie because he told me how good it was. Then I watched it a bit older and I understand how good of a movie it was. And now that I'm a content creator who has watched more movie, who understand after that as a movie, I truly see the beauty of American Psycho. I truly understand what American Psycho is about. The reason why I don't talk about it much, it's so popular right now. And people are like, oh, I'm Patrick Bateman. Because of that, when you like it, something like, oh, you only like it this because it's popular. See, the yeah, the apartment is hella dirty. I'm going to be cleaning the apartment right after. <laughs> and it was not planned, but hey, it's okay. Who gives a shit, right? Um, you know what? The good news on this shelf, exactly for this reason. <sighs> as a kid, as a young adult, bless you, thank you. As a young adult, I always thought American Psycho was a horror flick. I always thought American Psycho was about the the lifestyle of a serial killer. I finally realized what American Psycho truly is about. It's about the mind of a killer. And there's a couple of ints that does it. And to truly understand American Psycho, I think you have to understand Inception with Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. I know. I know we're going far. I know we're going far. How did the movie start? The, the first, the intro scene is fucking insane. It is one of the, possibly one of the best intro in any movie that I've ever seen. And I'm being dead honest. The opening scene is, he's talking about his routine, his workout. He's talking about how he puts a mask to look good, to look very good. You know what? I just lied. I just lied. To understand American Psycho, you need to watch two movies. Fight Club and... You already know. <laughs> Inception. So, the fight, uh, Amer American Psycho, the first scene, he spent five minutes of the movie talking about his routine, his mask, and how important his look is. His look is. You know why that's important? Because that's the only thing about Patrick Bateman that is normal. He's a fucking psycho. He's a killer. Right? So the way he looks is the only thing that's normal. Now, why, do, why does the thing, him looking normal, him looking very good, admittedly, Christian Bell, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the myth, the legend, why does it look is important? Well, 
you realize that a lot of the success of Patrick Bateman is based on his look. You realize that a lot of the um, character is based on his look. About his narcissism. is egocentric. Right? And then you have the rest of the movie. And the rest of the movie, the only, re the only real thing about the movie. Hear me out. Hear me out. The only real moment of the movie is that first scene. So the first time he's aggressive, he goes to a bar. And he asks the girl, but she doesn't hear him. And then he insults her. And he says, oh, I would like to take his ice pick and split your skull. And then she says one thing. And it's beautiful. What? I didn't hear you. And then you realize that in the same tone of voice, with the same uh, volume, says something. And now she hears him. Which is what? He didn't really say it. You realize that all of this kill. There's a, there's a really important scene at the, at the end of the movie. So the, during the movie, you, you see Patrick Bateman killing victim after victim after victim after victim. Right? And then you realize that at the end of the movie, he, he, the cops are in. Are, the cops are on him. The cops are about to arrest him. The cops are going to get him. And they're like, dude, you're, you're done. You're done. We found you. This is your time. We're going we're gonna to put you in. You're going to sit down because it's not comfortable. Now, the reason why we wanted to avoid this, but I guess there's no avoiding the inevitable, which is exactly what happens in American Psycho. See, he does so many kills, right? The police after him. And he leaves a voicemail saying that he killed a lot of people. A shit ton of people. <laughs> then the guy said, no, they're all alive. He, he never killed them. So he realized the whole movie wasn't in his head. And that's the beauty of American Psycho. It isn't the killing. It isn't Patrick Bateman. We're in his head. Now, some of the most important part, some of the most important thing, one of the kills that he does is a gay dude that comes to tell him, hey, you're beautiful. He kills him. One of the... <laughs> one of the... <laughs> the movie is a masterpiece. My favorite moment, he killed Jared Leto. Right? And then you realize that the only reason he killed Jared Leto is because everybody told him, you look like him. He keeps, they keep on mistaking him for that. So he sees Jared Leto as a competition. So he can handle it. Which is, again, part of the narcissism. Right? And then... The world famous scene, the world, the worst, the best scene. Well, when he's fucking, he's looking at himself. Actually, pretty funny. But the best scene, he goes to the to the restaurant with his girlfriend. And again, his girlfriend. You realize through the movie that he doesn't really like her. It's just to keep appearance, cause he knows he's crazy, so he acts normal. He acts normal. The most beautiful scene. Him telling him. And there's a lot of scenes that are real. That's one of the real scenes. He says, you're not terribly important to me. And that is him accepting who he is. That is him being able to come to terms with who he is. He doesn't need to pretend anymore. That's one of the most beautiful things. Because yes, he's a crazy person. Yes, he's a killer. But self-acceptance, so hard to get. Another scene that I really enjoy, the card scene. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best scenes filmed in movie history. So they're businessmen, and they all have the cards, right? And they all show their cards. And they all show cards, they're pretty good. Patrick Bateman shows his card. And this is the nicest. And for the first time in the movie, Patrick Bateman is happy. He's smiling. And then somebody else, somebody else, <laughs> brings a better card, and he loses it. The beauty of American Psycho, once again, is we are in his mind. It's how a killer, a crazy person acts with society. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful movie. If you didn't watch it, strongly suggest it.